when I first saw that video of Errol Spence's Ferrari flipping four, five times, I thought that man was out of here. I thought he was out. It's undeniable that the mercies of God was on Errol Spence that night, that three o'clock in the morning. It's undeniable that he had the mercies of God looking over him. The love that we profess to have for Errol Spence, I know you guys aren't going to want to hear this, but Errol Spence should not, and he will not be medically cleared to fight in 2020, especially against a fighter like Danny Garcia, whom he was supposed to fight in three months in January. There is no way possible remotely possible that Errol Spence is going to be ready to fight Danny Garcia three months after a serious car crash that he was just in. It's unheard of to even ask a, a fighter to go into a fight of that magnitude against a Danny Garcia who brutally knocked out Eric Morales. Brutally, can you imagine the repercussions of any doctor who medically clears Errol Spence, even PBC, the type of litigation that would occur if they medically cleared that man knowingly after seeing the video footage of that car accident, if they would knowingly clear him to fight just three months after a, a fatal car crash like that? It would be reprehensible, in my opinion. So I don't think PBC, I don't think, I don't see any doctor medically clearing him. And people talking about Terrence Crawford, just get that out of your head right now. Get that out of your skull. It ain't happening. Ain't happening. Danny Garcia doesn't need to happen. Danny Garcia brutally and viciously knocked out Eric Mar You don't want to put Errol Spence in a fight with a Danny Garcia after a car accident like that. Car rolling over four or five times, being ejected from his vehicle. Keith Thurman was out an entire year after he suffered his fatal car crash. He was out for a year. Errol Spence needs a year to recover and he also needs to enter rehab after, if Alcohol was a reason for the car accident. We're going to say if because we don't know if alcohol played any key or any part in the accident. But if it did, he also needs to seek rehab. He, his body needs to heal. He needs to rest and recover. He doesn't need to be fighting in 2020. If you have the love that you say that you profess to have for Errol Spence, you shouldn't want this man fighting in 2020, especially after a Car crash like he just suffered, man. He should be resting and recuperating, in my opinion. But I don't think he's going to be cleared to even fight in 2020. I want to see this man rest up, get better. I want to see him heal, not just physically. He needs to heal mentally. So I want to see him recover, man, and bounce back. It's a minor setback for a major comeback for Arrow. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit that like button. And subscribe, I'm out.